Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. Um, this tutorial is the continuation or part two of the previous tutorial in which we are basically uh, discussing the structures, how to create the structures and how to access their members. Uh, again, the, all these tutorials are basically part of a big collection of tutorials in a, a playlist, uh, the link of which you could find either in the description or it may already be displayed on the screen as well. Uh, if you haven't watched the other tutorials before this one, I would recommend that you do so. Um, again, uh, also I would recommend that you become a fan of the uh, Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def and uh, if you want you could also become uh, you can also subscribe to this channel Learnorama uh, so that you can be notified of any new videos uh, that I post. I would also appreciate if you can give me some feedback uh, post some comments either on Facebook or on the uh, YouTube video page of this video uh, of this tutorial. Um, so let's uh, let's continue. So in our previous tutorial, uh, we learned that basically how we define a structure it's called student, and and then there are the members of uh, of uh, of this structure, and then we declared a variable of type student, and then we accessed the individual elements inside or individual members inside that structure using the this kind of convention that the name of the structure followed by a dot followed by the name of the member which is ID here and similarly the name and then the age now remember that uh, as I said before that you know you cannot you cannot assign a string just like using the equal to operator here uh, you will have to use this kind of uh, function here to basically assign this string. Anyway, uh, you should look at the, you should 